Pulls back after the first, he's alone. Slipshot Cavalier, he tries to peek it again, and he will! He absolutely will! Half human, half machine, looking straight through the lens! Simple finds around again, Navi! And he also knows there's a flank, and he also knows he needs position! Oh! He actually gets the first one! He's got a chance, he knows Alu's up close, and he no! leaves her round! Oh, that's what we like from Simple! Top, trying to get information before exposing too much of himself. Looking at two frags this way because Zeus is critically wounded. Four, and that's number five. Of so course, it is in the same place as Simple was jumping. Catching into the side. He's going to fall down again. And then the right. What is that time from Simple? Are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. It's not allowed. This is not FPL. This is a major. Perfecto and Simple. He needs a multi kill. First found. Twist aggressing. They have to double peek. He's getting his shot. He's hitting another one. Simple. No. Oh, that's unbelievable! What in his name? Number one in the game! He's done it again! Hey everyone, we're back. This time we're looking at Simple against Vitality, so playing against Zaiwu here. And I thought it was fitting to look at the number one, number two on HLTV back to back. And if you look at this pistol round, it's actually almost identical to what Vitality ran in my last uh, demo review. They're going to send three guys out. You can see them on the radar now. Three guys out long, taking long control. But this time, they're actually going to execute on it. So I don't know if that was a mid-round call to change it up. But they set up on the map very similarly to how they did last game. And I think it really shows the value of these team analysts or coaches that will go in, review demos of opposing teams. Because you might be surprised how often they do similar strategies over and over again. Uh, here, let me show you an example, actually, from a demo I did a few years ago of Scream. So shortly before I did this Scream demo, um, I did a Phelps review as well. And I noticed Mortals was boosting up on that red box in about 80% of the rounds. Uh, this wasn't picked up on the broadcast, by the way. I just saw this when I was doing the Scream demo review. He spams it and he hits him four times through that uh, glass or window, whatever it is up there. Um, and I chalked it up to just G2 having a good analyst or a good demo review team. Like I said, I only watched one or two demos of Immortals on Cash, and I picked up on this right away. I noticed it within four or five rounds. It's like, really, guys, you're going to boost on that every single round? If I was in Scream's position, and I had mid-smoked, I had the boost molotov it's just a free spam. Like, if you're playing mid, you have nothing else to do. You don't really need to stare at the smoke. You don't really need to stare at the boost. So just start shooting some bullets where they're boosted, and maybe you'll get some hits. Scream actually spammed this probably three or four times in the game, but he only actually connected with someone once. It's something that I feel like they don't talk about very much on the broadcast, but these teams always play each other so often, and they have each other figured out positionally so well. They usually have a very good read on what the other team is doing just because of de demo analysis and their coaching staff telling them what their habits are and their tendencies are to do this and this in this situation or maybe this and this in this situation. Um, so just keep that in mind when you watch these demos that sometimes they're able to get reads just because the same situation has happened to them four or five, six, seven times. And you know maybe this is the first time you're seeing it, but they've seen it a number of times against this specific team or this specific player. All right, back on topic here. Simple's just killing everyone. They're trying to grab his op at the end of the round. And I feel like two years ago, Simple would have peeked out from here. He hides behind this box and he keeps the op. But if I'm looking at 2018 Simple, he peeks out and takes that fight and maybe dies and stuff like that. I feel like his game has kind of grown um, from a strategic point of view where he's realized, okay, I don't need the one extra kill. Terrorists always have a pretty cheap buy anyways. You're not going to impact their economy that badly just by getting an extra kill here or there. Uh, so he made the smart play and just stayed behind the box. This was a really weak smoke from Vitality that Simple picked up on right away. There's a huge gap in there. It's a good thing they didn't run into B off that smoke. I'm just going to pause really quick here. I wanted to point out, this is always hard for B splits if you're the mid player. You need to count on your teammates usually from A to pick up your mid. So if you're in a pub, that's always going to be a shit show. But typically the mid player needs to help at B and then the guy coming over from A will pick up your mid to cover you so you don't get shot in the back. Simple's teammate that was playing A though is flanking so Simple's got the awareness to know or they have the communication to tell each other, hey, I don't have your mid, make sure you're watching that. And Simple turns, looks at mid and he gets the kill. 
So when you look at this position, it really looks like a one and done type position. It, like if you were playing a game and you put yourself in the into this position, you'd probably feel uncomfortable. But his teammates are making it known that Vitality is putting pressure on Cat and they're spread across the map a little bit. So Simple knows he's not likely to face more than one, maybe two guys um, at long. Obviously, if he misses a shot, if the guy comes out or something, he's going to die. But he has enough confidence in his shot that he's going to hit the guy if he comes out long. And playing an off angle like that, your chances of getting the kill go up dramatically. And the very next round actually is a good contrast to the round before. His teammates don't have good intel on the map. You could tell just by looking at the mini map, they don't exactly know where they are just from the positions they're playing. And Simple doesn't want to do the same thing two rounds in a row. So he plays out uh, just spotting it from the corner. So they're into this 4v4 with Simple on catwalk. And Simple decides to smoke it before he leaves. And they make a good read that it's a B hit here. And I think they can make this read because they have their teammate pushed so deep into long A. The chances of it being an A hit are pretty low. You would have seen a terrorist at long A by now probably. Usually it would be a split. Even if it's not a split and they four man up cat, having just that guy deep long A is going to help a lot for the retake. So they gamble towards B and they're correct. And Simple and his team do the rest. They just they come into sight and they steal their lunch money. All right, take a look at this. When Simple comes up to long, he knows there's going to be action. He can tell by the nades. But when he runs up, he takes a very close and tight peek to the wall because that's the best anti-flash type position to be in. If he was further from that wall, he'd be blind right now. Granted, Vitality didn't do a great job with the flashes anyways, but just putting his face so close to the wall gives him the best chance of being able to peek that angle without being blinded. Later in the same round here, he's going to throw this beaut of a smoke that just sets the round up for him completely. You could see the split was coming and he was in he was in trouble if he didn't have that smoke. Throws it down and he's able to isolate the 1v1 fights and clean up the rest of the players and uh, that's a wrap. That's a 4k from Simple. These little gap shots through the doors I always struggled with. Zaiwu gets caught there by Simple. That's such a nice shot and so hard to do. It's an eco round for Vitality, so Zaiwu probably wasn't being too careful or anything like that. It's not like he got caught out and lost a gun or anything, but Simple's going to wrap this eco round up with a few nice little kills as they come into A site. Simple taking an angle here that's not that strong with the op, but he, uh, he makes it work and absolutely decapitates shocks as soon as he pokes his head up. And don't blink for this round because this is a very, very nice round. Uh, Simple's going to throw a smoke in sight, kind of like he did at long earlier, just to give him some space. And you can see he's got a little angle to work with right at the jump spot. He can have his crosshair dead set on it. They're going to jump right into his crosshair. And then he can retreat back through his smoke. He's got a little bit of room to work with between quad and the smoke. The shots he's hitting here too are just filthy, just such a nice round. He gets an ace against the full buy from Vitality. Zaiwu decides to challenge Simple at long A here, and he pays the price. I thought it looked like a pretty fast shot, so I decided to uh, check out the reaction time just by counting the, the ticks in the demo. There's 128 ticks per second. So you can count that um, from when he sees the body to when he shoots to get a rough idea what the reaction time was. And if my math is right, it should be about 203 milliseconds for the shot. And I just love the way these slow-mo demos look too when you set it to like 10% speed in the demo. Then the butterfly knife coming out and flipping around. I think it looks great. All right, let me speed through this round a little bit. It's another full buy from Vitality. They're, they got full AKs. They got a bunch of grenades. And Simple's just got so much aggression here at mid. He gets the first kill, drops the bomb, and he sees it while they're trying to throw that smoke. Just keeps pushing forward. Decides to molly the bomb to hold them off further, and he still doesn't want to fall back, he, even though it's a 5v2. He's going to keep pushing forward, get that fourth kill. Another super nice round from Simple. On to the last round of the half here. You can see Simple is back plat at B. They moved him around, and really, they read Vitality like a book here. Vitality probably sick of running into this wall that is Simple with his op. He's already got 25 kills in the first half, so they move him to B. And that's exactly where Vitality are going. So they've got themselves set up for this round in a good position. Simple's at the back of Plat with an op. It's pretty tough to get him out of that position, but 
he does end up falling. He takes out one as he goes down, and uh, his teammates are able to pick up the pieces and bring the round home. Pistol round, second half. And you can see Navi dropped him a P250, and he's got armor, so he's got the raid boss set up here. And this is a very good fight to take if you're a terrorist. You're almost happy that the CT spotted that you're there. Um, you've got the P250, you've got armor, you've got everything you need to take that fight. And it's almost the type of fight that a CT is conditioned to take on the pistol round. With the USP, they're looking for those long-range fights, and they're going to peek that tunnel all day long, probably. With you swinging with the P250, you might catch him off guard with him assuming that you have a Glock. Simple finishes this roundup with an absolute scumbag of a lurk. It looks like uh, 2015 Happy out here, sneaking into B after his whole team planted A. Moving right along. It's getting later in the game here, 11-7 for Navi. You can see they're setting up for a full B execute, maybe with a mid lurk. And Simple knows this really nice smoke. I've, you know, I've been out of the meta for a little bit now. I haven't done these demo reviews in a while. Maybe that's a common smoke. I don't know. I liked Simple taking this fight. He knows that one guy has to stay back and take the fight on the guy that's back there. They missed their Molotov, which is kind of a problem. But luckily, Simple's there to hit the shot. Gets in sight and trades out and runs out of time with the bomb so that's a bit of a bummer but at least he doesn't die after time and i guess that's really the uh consolation prize of that round so i haven't mentioned yet but i cherry picked this demo because simple gets over a 2.0 rating and he hits shots like that in this demo he ends up finishing the game with 37 kills uh he gets one ace and i think three quad kills he just has an unreal game another really nice shot on zaiwu here with the crab peak or the crab walk peak with the op. And you could tell by the way he positions later in this round that he wants to protect that op that dropped middle and doesn't want to really give it away. So it's a 4v2. The round should be a wrap. He's going to give the bomb to his teammate. That's another thing they do in this demo. They change the bomb around all the time. I feel like that's something that they should have a lock on and have the same guy carry the bomb all the time. No, no, no. Navi changes whoever is carrying the bomb all the time. Changes every round, and they're always dropping it mid-round to somebody random to go take it into the site. Okay, so you can see he's trying to keep tabs on that op, and they do pick it up. And then he's fighting both guys mid, and he's kind of stuck, and can't really find a way out of there, but he's kept both the CTs busy. His teammates have taken the bomb site, and they're getting good post-plant positions. It's pretty much a wrap on the round, even though he dies at mid, which wasn't ideal. Um... In a perfect world, you know, he would have been able to protect that op and stop them from picking it up. I liked what he did on this A hit here. You can see he throws that smoke pretty deep, and he's trying to get an angle to look into the cubby. Um, he ends up just peeking out and killing the guy spawn there against an eco round two, so it's not that big of a deal. But I liked the idea of using your smoke, see if you can clear the cubby. Yeah, you're opening yourself up to spam and stuff like that, and, and maybe that'll go against you, but... Like I said, it's very high risk, high reward to do that type of move. And that is definitely the scouting report on how simple plays. Going into the last round here, um, you can see just by looking at the minimap how big of an advantage Navi is in here. The rotates from A are going to be super slow. None of them are leaning towards B or leaning towards mid or anything. Um, also, neither are playing catwalk. You know, if you're playing catwalk at A, you can have a pretty quick rotate into B. Instead, they were just playing two guys committed in b to try and hold off a five-man split and that's that's always going to put you in a disadvantage they had one player deep long and that's you know that's a super long rotate if a b hit comes in so if you have that guy deep at long the guys playing on site at a really should lean towards b just in case you need a faster rotate because those b guys can't hold them off for 15 seconds while you rotate over you know it's just not reasonable and fittingly for this demo, Simple gets the last kill of the match and closes out the game. So if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Uh, let me know in the comments if you liked certain things about the video or if you disliked certain things about the video. And, uh, you know, YouTube's an evolving process, right? I'll change things around, stuff like that. And for all the loyalists that make it this far into the video, I also started a Patreon if you want to help out the channel a little bit more. And... Uh, really just help get my wife off my back so I can keep making these videos. And uh, it also keeps the mid-roll ads to, I guess, a minimum. You know, like I, I usually don't like putting in more than one mid-roll ad just because it takes away from the experience of watching the video. Anyways, so that'll do it for this. Thanks for watching, guys, and uh, peace out.